What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to talk about how you can learn to code 10 times faster. Learning to code is one of the hardest things that most people will end up doing in life. And mastering code can take 10 years if not more time. But unfortunately what happens is most people give up before they ever really truly get started. Now why is that? Well because we all have high expectations. In the beginning we get very excited about the concept of learning to code. We read in the news about how Mark Zuckerberg is now the third most wealthiest person in the world. This means that the top three spots in terms of the world's richest people are held by people who are involved in technology. Jeff Bezos is worth over $141 billion. Bill Gates is estimated to be worth about $93 billion. And Mark Zuckerberg is worth about $82 billion. So when people hear about these vast amounts of wealth that have been obtained by people involved in technology, sometimes that inspires people to get into that particular type of field. And nowadays, learning to code isn't as hard as it used to be. There's so many different resources for you to learn how to code, both online and offline. If you're in high school, you may consider going to college for a computer science degree. But nowadays, you don't even need a computer science degree in order to become a web developer. All you need is the desire to learn and the time and the focus and the dedication in order to make it happen. Now, the thing is, how can you remember what you're actually learning. The last thing you want to do is waste your time. And if you're not following the proper learning methods, then you're going to waste a whole lot of time. So in this video, my goal is to give you a few tips on how to make sure you can make the learning process a lot smoother and faster. So the first thing I want to talk about is passive learning versus active learning. Now, what is passive learning? Well, this can be seen as just reading a book. And this is a mistake that I made when I first started learning how to code. And you're going to find that a lot of people make the this very same mistake. They'll go to the bookstore, they'll order their book on Amazon, and they'll start reading the book as if they were reading like a regular book or a regular novel. The problem there is that you're believing that you could just absorb the information, and that's just not possible. This is not like the scene in The Matrix where Neo just plugs himself into a computer and downloads all the information and has near perfect recall. Sadly, that's not the case. So instead of passive learning, you should get involved in active learning. And that means learn by doing. If you're gonna use a book, then make sure you take notes and see if you can download some of the code examples from the publisher's website. And when you do that, start playing around with the code that you find. Start implementing what it is that you're learning in that specific chapter. The main difference between passive learning and active learning is that you're actively participating in the learning process versus just sitting back and trying to absorb the information. So that's key number one, learn by doing. And when I say learn by doing, I don't mean do it once and believe that you're gonna have a full grasp of the concepts. A better approach is to make sure that you continuously try to redo it again and again. Take it slow at first, you know, follow the steps one by one, and then repeat the process and see if you can make it do something a little bit different. And then once you've successfully done it a couple of times, then maybe you want to stop doing that and then give yourself a little bit of time to try to see if you can recall it without referring to the book or the documentation pages when trying it again. So if you learn something on Monday, try it again on Tuesday and see if you committed it to memory or at least have a good, better understanding of the information you took in. Now, when it comes to coding, you're going to want to focus on the fundamentals. And there are five fundamentals to most coding languages. And they're the variables, the control structures, the data structures, the syntax, and the tools that you're using to get the job done. Focus on trying to learn those five fundamentals and you have a better understanding of coding in general. Now, going back to active learning for a moment, one thing you may want to consider is using old school learning techniques that are tried and true such as getting yourself a set of index cards. You can use these in order to write down, let's say the name of a function or the name of a variable or some of the syntax on the front of the card, and then put a definition or an example on the back of a card. And you may wanna consider doing this with the functions or the variables or the topics of syntax that you're having more difficulty with. That way you can keep them with you at almost all times. And whenever you have like five minutes, you can just pull them out and you can start quizzing yourself. So using index cards can be a very helpful tool. Now besides that, you could also get a notepad. Get yourself a notepad, you know, they're very cheap. You could just get them from the dollar store, order them from Amazon, and start taking notes. Again, if you're reading a book, 
take notes on the notepad. If you're reading the documentation pages of a coding language, you could take notes as well. The process of writing down code and taking notes is a great way to enhance your active learning process. Now, why is that? Well, because you're involving more of your senses and you're making deeper connections within your brain. Now, remember, we have five senses and the more senses you can involve in learning, the better. Now, obviously, some of them you really can't utilize. You can't smell code, but you can see code. So you definitely want to read either the documentation pages or a book on code. But you also can hear code, meaning that if you're watching a YouTube video, you can see what the developer is doing on the screen and you can also hear it at the same time and now if you're writing you're reinforcing what you're learning into your brain so using the old school technique of using flashcards index cards and a legal pad or a notepad can definitely help you in the process of learning to code faster now another thing you want to consider doing is learning in chunks and what is this really well this means that instead of sitting down for three hours straight and trying to learn everything within that time frame break up those three hours throughout the course of the day. Study for one hour in the morning time, then take a break, then study again in the afternoon time, and finally study at night. By doing this, you'll give your brain a chance to refresh itself. If you do this every single day, seven days a week, that's 21 hours of learning. You can learn a lot in that time. And honestly, it's a lot easier to set aside one hour in the morning, one hour in the middle of the day, and one hour at night, instead of just trying to set aside three hours in one sitting. Now this next tip I should have probably let off with, and that's to eliminate distractions. Turn off your cell phone, turn off your email notifications or your notifications on your computer and try to isolate yourself as much as you can so that way you can focus on the learning process. You kind of want to get into the rhythm of learning and making sure you could absorb as much as you can. And it's easier to do that when you could eliminate as many distractions as possible. Now my last tip is this, don't give up. Learning to code is extremely hard. It's not something that you could do overnight. You can learn the fundamentals very very fast but in order to think like a coder in order to think like a programmer that takes time the sad part is that too many people start the process of learning to code but they give up way too fast they get discouraged they start thinking they're not smart enough to learn and the reality is virtually everyone can learn how to code so give it time make learning to code a part of your daily process try to dedicate some time every single day to learning and to practicing and putting into place what you're learning. Work on small projects and then gradually try to enhance them and make them more difficult over time. And one of the best parts of learning to code is there's so much free sample code out there. Obviously you want to use good resources. So I definitely recommend the documentation pages of the coding language that you're learning to code with. Then of course you can check out some of the other videos here on YouTube where we have developers who are actually guiding you through the process of how to learn to code. For instance, I have a bunch of videos here on YouTube where I teach people how to code a custom work WordPress theme and I go over it step by step but besides YouTube there's a bunch of other places online that you can learn how to code from there's a bunch of websites that offer free learning courses and there's a bunch of paid solutions as well but the key takeaway the recap of this video is that if you want to learn how to code and if you want to learn how to code faster be an active learner learn by doing don't just sit back and read a book or don't just sit back and watch a video. Actually, watch the video and start the process of coding what you learn immediately. Make sure you learn about variables, control structures, learn the fundamental syntax of a language, and master your tools. Whether you're using Visual Studio Code or the Atom Text Editor, learn to master those text editors. Use some old school learning techniques like index cards and notepads, and make sure you don't give up. All right, so that's it. That's how you can learn how to code faster. If you find follow the tips in this video, in time, you will find that you're a better coder and you would have done so in a shorter time frame. All right, so if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, well, you know what you gotta do. If you have any thoughts, ideas, leave them down in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that way, whenever I create a new video, you'll be notified. Again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Take care. So you had me by through the bullet. I won't play a second fiddle with you You look away just when they pull it You gotta step up, yeah, you miss you